Okay, so I came because of Python, I stayed because of Matplotlib. Matplotlib is absolutely amazing, so we're going to go through the examples that I've already created, so you learn how to do them too. I have them on curval.com if you go to learning portal Python. And then here you have Matplotlib, these are all the charts, or most of the charts that I have created, and we're going to start with the area charts in Matplotlib. This is the first one that we're going to create. And uh, as you can see, it has the percentage of players for the baseball in between 1947 and 2016. And this is African-American players, and these are the Latino players. And this is showing that the Latinos took over in 1993, okay? So this is what we're going to create. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is import the data and the packages. The packages that we're going to use are Matplotlib, uh, pandas, numpy, and the empty ticker from Matplotlib, the usual suspects. And then the data set is Makeover Monday, year 2018, week 6. Okay. And we're going to only use the columns here of players and ethnicity, so you don't need to import anything else. By using use calls, you can actually grab that. And if you shift enter, you will get the data set in here. Right. So, something that I saw when I started working with Matplotlib is that a lot of people pivot the table before they plot it. So, in this case, we're going to pivot it, but then I'm going to show you another videos how you don't need to do that. I'm not sure exactly which one is faster because the data has been so small that I haven't been able to test it properly, but for now, we pivot. So, to pivot, a we are going to use pandas function that is pivot table. So if we go here and then we run the F just to see what it does. So this is actually very simple. It's pivot table and then you tell what the you want to pivot it on, which in this case is the year, and then you will pivot it by African American Latino. So it's basically taking this column and put it, you know, the rows and putting them as columns and then adding the values. And then we are actually, there are other ethnicities in the data set. So we're going to drop Asian and white. And you need to specify X is one. It basically says drop them from the columns. So if I would remove that, they will appear in there. Let me show you. You see them? So we don't want them. We're going to get rid of them with that little line of code. So now we have only the data that we need. Next thing that we need to do is define the X and the Y. The X uh, is going to be the years, and that is going to be the F index. When you have a pivoted table, the index column, or, or the column that you want as the X value is the index column. And it's actually quite nice to see it, so especially if you don't get the correct value, so you can just write the variable name and then it'll show you the values. For the y-axis, we're going to have two y-axis, one for the African-Americans and the other ones for the Latino. So for the y-Latino, is going to be df and the column name is Latino, so you put Latino. And the Y African American is going to be DF African American, obviously, right? Uh, no, sorry, you need to write it the way that it's in there. So, because there are spaces, we need to do African American, like that, right? And then you can test one of them, and it looks... Correct. Beautiful. Good. Okay, so we can now start creating the chart. Uh, first, we're going to use the object-oriented method, which basically means that we're going to use figure and ax. It's going to, we're going to define only one axis, and we specify the figure size. This is going to basically draw the figure for you with the size that you specified. It's not going to do anything else. I'm going to then specify the colors that will be used for the uh, these ones, right? The gray and the orange. So put it in there. And then the uh, 
function that we're going to use with matplotlib to plot these is fill between because we don't want to have a line chart. We want to have a line chart and then fill the stuff in between. So that's how you create the area charts. Um, so you're going to do AX fill between and then you put the X and the Y value. The X is going to be X years that we know and the Y depends if you're going to do the African American or the Latino. I'm going to do the Latinos first. So I'm going to put Y1 is going to be and this is going to be Y Latino, the variable that we just created. And if we plot it, we just see that we get the area chart. And then we're going to use the color is going to be, I don't remember if it's the first one, it's the first one. So this is the color that we're going to use for the Latino. So to do that, you do colors. And then like this, you pick the first, Python starts counting not zero. So you pick the first color, which is uh, the one in the list here. And then we're going to add also transparency, which is done with alpha. And that is going to be 0 0.8, for example. And then we're going to have the line width, which is going to be 4. I wrote it. So we run it. And then you can see that it gives a slight transparency. The other line width. Beautiful. Now, we need to do the same for the African American. So you just copy and here you put AA. Uh, I think it's how about we are consistent. And here you have the second chart, but in this case the color is going to be the second color, not the first color. So we change it and then we get the gray. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is to do these annotations, the Latinos and the African Americans. So to annotate, we do AX annotate. We put first the text that we want to have. Then we say where do we want to annotate. I don't have the years here, but this is around 2016 and this is like 0 0.2. So that's where we're going to put it. You could actually calculate this, but in this case it's not necessary. So 2006 and 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and then size 12. Right. So you get Latino, and then we can do the same for the African American. But as you can see, there is a border in here, and we want to recreate that border. So we're going to add what is called a B box. So we do B box. And the B box is defined as a dictionary. So dic, dic, oh. and here we're going to put the box style, which is going to be round. And we're going to have also, I think it's enough for now so you can actually see. So you can see that we get a round box, but Obviously, we want to change the color of the box. So this is going to be color. The color I pick, it was the color zero there. So this is color, you know, the first color on our list up there. And then we're going to add a little bit of padding because it's very packed. But you don't have to, you don't like it. So pad. 0 0.8 I have. So you see it gets a little bit more spacious around. There are just two things that are different and it's the color and it's bold. Again you decide if you want to have that or not but we're going to put the color of the text is going to be white and the style I think the weight is called weight is going to be bold. And there you see it. Maybe it's better without the bold. I mean, then you can, once you know how to do it, you can experiment yourself on how you prefer it, right? Because now you know how it is done. So now that we have this one, we're going to create the other one, which is the same, but it's just a change of color. So we're going to copy the annotate. 
here is going to be African American. This is going to be 2003. 0.03. Again, you place it wherever you like. And then the color is going to be 1. Right. There we have it. Perfect. Now, we had some lines for annotations. This line. That one and that one. So how do you create those lines? There is a function called AX, AXV line. Right, and you say now where in the line you want to place it. For the Latinos, we want to put it in 1951. You can calculate this or hard code it like I am doing. The color is going to be, I have it in here, so I'm going to copy that. And the style is going to be like that. Now it is line style. Like that. And then it appears there. So this is for the African Americans and then we need to have the line for the Latinos which is in 1993. Right. There we have it. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, so there is some text in there. So we're going to put it, we're going to put text. So we're going to, again, annotate, annotate, and then we're going to put first the text that we want to annotate, which in this case is Latinos take over in 1993. Uh, there, Latinos take over in 1993. Then, where you put the annotation, we know that, so it is going to be two, no, 1993, obviously, and then 0 0.17, you can put it anywhere you like, and then the size is going to be uh, 12. And then it shows, um, perhaps that's not 25, oh, so that is not a good place, let's do... Something like that. So you know the thing, you have a few options when you are doing these things in, in Matplotly. So you can you place these, I can now say, okay, move it more to the left, like instead of 1993, put it like, I don't know, 1985, and then play with that. But there is also another option, which is called the offset, where you can offset the text. You say, I want it in 1993, but I want to offset it. I'm going to show you how that looks. Um, so... I leave the 017, but then I am going to offset it with these. You play with the um, coordinates and then you put it wherever you like. And now we're going to add an arrow. So to add arrows, arrow props, let's go. And then it's the same, it's a dictionary. And then you say, okay, what is the arrow style? I'm going to copy it because... It's quite a lot of text. So you say, what is the arrow style, which you want to have with a point. And then this tells you the direction of the, um, of the arrow. So if we run it, you'll see that it goes like, boom. So this is not the same because I copied the, you know, the, the, the wrong connection style. So this is the one that I have for the... Okay, so the arrow style, you find it on the annotate, and then you see here the type of arrow styles that you have, and the connection style, you have also in the documentation, you see it here. So here you decide if it's an angle, if it's an arc, if it's a... and then you just play with the angles, okay? So very, very easy. Right, so we have it for the African Americans. We're going to now add it for the no for the Latinos, we're going to add it for the African Americans. I'm gonna copy the code. There you see it. 
And now we just need to make this chart a little bit, a little prettier. So first we're going to add a legend to the Y chart because otherwise people will not know what it's representing. So set Y label, I think it is. Yeah. And then it's called uh, percentage of players. Right, and then we're going to have fix the spines. The spines are this frame box around it. Normally, you don't want to have it. In this case, we want to have this one and that one. So, and we want to have it in a lighter color. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to copy the code because a ton of code, you don't want to see me write it. But this is basically turn it off the top and the right, and the bottom and the left is giving it a lighter color so you can see it. Right, looks prettier. Now, we are going to change the color of the numbers on the x and y axis. So, you do it like that, you see that it gets a lighter color, and then we're going to modify the y axis a little bit. I want to have horizontal lines, so this line of code it adds the horizontal lines to the y chart. But I want them on the back, not on the front. So if we put a x set wait set axis below as true, it goes to the back. <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted. And now you see that it awkwardly starts at minus zero point something. Mm -mm -mm, we don't want that. So a x dot set y limb and then we're going to put a zero the bottom because we need to specify what the upper or the bottom right so it starts at zero <laughs> looking better looking better so now the last thing that we need to do is these numbers are percentage and you don't see that so to add the percentage to the numbers you need to have these so you need to use the empty curve. Do you remember that we imported it here? That is for uh, formatting the uh, labels on the axis. So the empty curve, this is locator is the one that is getting the y ticks, which said get the y ticks, and then do this formatting. So this is basically adding the percentage, no decimals, and so on, right? And that's all. I think we are going to leave the years in there, even though I didn't have it in the original. So now you have the complete chart. Okay. So I'm not sure if you want me to continue doing this in other forms, like I have in here, or if you want to do me to do another chart. I do have all the charts I've created here. If there is anyone that you would like me to do, beforehand just let me know and i'll fix it so otherwise i will continue my own pace okay see you in the next one